Hi, I'm Jonathan Oxer and this is Walk Time Blog number 20, Building a Monitor Stand. Now, I've just been setting up my home workshop slash office, which I'll show you more of some other time, but for now what I've just been doing is setting up this computer. One of the primary uses for it is going to be CAD, so doing PCB design, that sort of thing. And just kicking out a bit, this is awesome, triple 24 inch full HD monitors, that's very cool. And uh, but as you can see, they're sitting on cardboard boxes. They are Freetronics um, product boxes that we use for shipping, but they're a bit skew if not really aligned properly. And also, it's annoying having the monitor stands uh, going down onto the bench like that. So I've got no idea if this is going to work. But what I'm going to have a go at doing is building essentially a U-shaped frame that will go around the back of all three, and it will be curved and it will have a place to mount each monitor so then um, I can support that stand up off the bench and you won't, there will be a clear space underneath so I'll be able to push the keyboard back under the monitors and do all that sort of thing so let's go and have a look at the piece of wood I'm going to use for that So what I've done now is cut out a couple of pieces that the monitors will mount on. That is the longer piece for the centre monitor, there's a slightly shorter piece for the side and another piece the same which will go off on the other angle. The, um, the pieces for the side don't have to be as long because they've only got to get past the central visa mount point. They don't have to be the full width of the monitor. And um, I also used a piece of cardboard and a bit of paper and held it up underneath the monitors. One of the important things is to make sure that the angle is correct. So I sat down at the desk, got the angle of the monitors all spot on, and then I held up the piece of paper under the monitors and drew a line across it so I got the angle. And that's now a template that I can use to cut out other pieces. So I've got a couple of other pieces here, which as you can see, are, well you may not be able to see, are marked up using that template. And I'm now going to use these to cut out four pieces that I will use to attach these together. So let's see how that turns out. And there we go. Now I have some brackets that I can use. So the idea is that I will attach these here. Now of course I could attach them back behind the timber like that, but uh, it's going to be easier if I just do it like this, because I haven't necessarily got the faces on here perfectly straight. So if I do it on top, it's not so critical. So I'll do one above, one below. Alright, so I've fitted those brackets in place, which hold the three back supports together. Now it's time to take it into the office and see if it fits around the back of the monitors. See if I got the angles right. Now I have to drill the holes for the visa mounts that are on the back of the monitor and I've measured out a square just here you can see the spots where the holes will go now visa mounts are rated by dimension and um, small monitors typically are visa 100 which just means it's a square with 100 mils per side simple as that and there we are holes all drilled now I've made the holes slightly oversized because I want a little bit of wriggle room what will happen is these bolts which fit into the back of the monitor will come through from the back and into the monitor, uh, into the visa mount holes. And um, they're just the right length to protrude through this 22mm um, timber and then into the monitor body itself. But as I said, I've made the hole slightly oversized. There's a bit of wiggle room there. And that's because I want to be able to adjust the monitor just a little bit and then tighten them up, make sure it's all straight. Well, they're not actually attached in place yet, and obviously they still have their normal stands on, but this is the idea. Screwed on from behind through that piece of timber, at least it will be. And then the three monitors are jammed up hard against each other, so the screens are as close together as possible. 
and it's in a nice curve so that when I'm sitting in front of it they're all at the correct angle. Now we're getting a little bit closer to something that looks like a monitor stand. It's not actually what I intended when I was setting out to build this. The design sort of changed into something else over time and that central support is not at all what I want because it means I can't push the, the keyboard back under the monitors but I figure I'll give it a try like this. This design's probably going to need adjustment over time anyway so let's give it a shot. As you can see it's got the mount holes drilled there for the monitors and so now it's time to stick some monitors up on it see how it goes. And there we go, the job is done. The monitors are a little bit dirty because there's lots of sawdust and stuff around the place but they are all set up. They're all at the right height so if I come and sit down, it's a bit hard with the like a field of view of the camera but sitting here we've got all three monitors at just the right height. Now I can run the cables a little bit more neatly around the back, make sure it's all clear of the desk, and it's all good. See ya.